Pockets Community Conversations. I'm Miss Community Clovia. Joining me on this show is Richmond Mayor L. Douglas Wilder. How Good you doing? Good to be with you as ever. And as I, you know what we're talking about and what we always talk about is uh, people. We always talk about... I love uh, people. I'm the same here. We always talk about government and the delivery of services. And none of those things really amount if you are not participating. The only way I know that you can more genuinely participate is by voting, but follow up that vote. Become educated as to what the issues are. Uh, get our website, particularly in here in the city of Richmond, uh, richmondgov.com. Uh, we have another one, the uh, richmondsmayor.com. Uh, rich, not Richmond, Richmond's mayor, because we got a, another Richmond guy in one of the states try, <laughs> trying to do that. But you, be, you can become aware of issues. For instance, are you, are you paying too much for water? And if not, then what can we do? Uh, how do you involve yourself in making certain that things take place? Let me give you a perfect illustration. People are now talking about a greater Richmond uh, Transportation Authority. That's what they're calling it. And there are some people who are saying, well, we're not going to have anything relative to uh, rapid or, or bus transportation and we're not going and you're going to call it Richmond and you want us to participate and vote for it and you want us to raise people's taxes either gas taxes or otherwise and you're not going to have something relative to how people who can't afford cars and who can't afford private transportation you're not going to be concerned with it then you're not going to have it because Richmond isn't going to vote for it hmm. and I, I, I had to send a letter out this morning uh, to Ms. Graziano to tell her, don't let nobody bully you around. That's what has happened in Richmond for far too long. People in the county tell us what to do. Other people, sometimes in the legislature, tell us what they're going to do. That day is over. Richmond will plot its own destiny and determine what it wants. That's why it's so important to determine who you want to be the next president. we got too much at stake. That's why it's important when you participate as to who's, who's going to be the governor. It comes down to the local level, whether you the, the presidential level, the governor's level, it gets to the people how they live in their own communities. And if you don't participate in local government and don't follow it, look at this lady who's now going to be the vice presidential yeah. candidate. Governor where, Sarah where did she get her start and why did she get her pick because she was mayor of a little city? Yeah. And ultimately, Sorry, governor for council. less than two years, yep. right? One term is so governor. So don't tell me that what doesn't take place at the local levels doesn't matter. I want to say to you, you and your, your station have been so committed to bringing public awareness and the issues to, to the people, participating and voting. Uh, we're going to have the mayor's uh, offices around the country dedicated to voter registration, things that people need to do by October 1st so that they can be eligible to participate. Because it's so important when you look to see uh, the condition of our country, uh, the status of affairs around the world. If we don't participate, we can't complain. You have no voice. No we say. have no voice, and I've never been one to be quiet. And I'm not going to be quiet. Even when I leave office. <laughs> even when I leave you office. You know what? I can imagine that. I will be He's going to be around all the you time. Don't ever, don't ever think that I won't be. And I'll have something to say. And I want to thank you again for the opportunity just to speak to the people. And I want to repeat what you just said. You have always asked those people who want to come on and speak to issues to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Definitely open. Don't act like you have been shut out. No. Or that no. I come over here and say things. If I'm speaking, if the facts that I'm presenting are such as you question them, call up. Yeah, and definitely come on because of the fact that we want to hear the story That's from right. everyone, all of city council, everyone right. uh, else in your administration, because it's all about healing our communities. And, and, we gotta work hard. and helping. And helping. And, you know, um, paving the way for better future for our children and our community as well. So that's and, what I want to do. It's not about why, bashing. And, or and you any don't of have stuff. to be gray haired and old and wizened <laughs> before you come on. That's why it's so important to see these young people who are participating and being involved in government come on on. Wasn't it amazing? You know, I had to, I have to throw this in before yeah. you go. The Democratic National Convention. You just had to be there. <laughs> you can't describe it. 
I don't, wasn't it? It you was something out of this it. world, you can't man. Just grab it when you look to see the And you sat on a lot of um in on a lot of caucuses did, and meetings. And, and I did, but but when you saw eighty four thousand people in that stadium yes. and felt the electricity and saw the people walking and scurrying to get back and forth with security being at its heightened levels, uh, and you saw the numbers of people who were participating of all races, all yeah. ages, all classes. United. That's yes. what it was called. It United. was a fantastic experience. I was glad to have seen you there. Yeah. And uh, I enjoyed it. And uh, I never have been to one where I enjoyed more. Yeah. This was and we're going to do something here in Richmond, too. Good. We'll all right. We will. Come back. Delegation Always good something. to be with you. All right. Richmond Mayor L. Douglas Wilder, thank you so much for joining me on Community Conversations. Thank you.